During the match, Rhea Ripley suffered a broken nose after she had butted B. Fab before eliminating her. Despite this, Rhea still steals the show with an incredible per per performance that lasted over an hour. Following the match, Rhea Ripley took to Twitter to share a photo of dissipating scares she received during the match. In this photo, Rhea Ripley bruises can be seen clearly. Ricky Stark arriving with Cody Rhodes at the arena just prior to the Royal Rumble match. Ricky Stark and Cody Rhodes are pretty good friends, so it shouldn't be a surprise to see him with Cody Rhodes. For those wondering if Ricky Stark might be considering making the jump from AEW to WWE, there has no indication that he plans to leave AEW. It seems like he was there to support his good friend on his special night. Cody Rhodes returned to the Royal Rumble as the number 30 intent and he went on to win the men's Royal Rumble match. By doing so, he has now granted himself a spot in the main event of WrestleMania. Jey Uso was the only one who defended the owner UC during the tribal court, just as Paul Heyman prosecuted Sami Zayn for being unfaithful to the bloodline. Jey Uso stepped up in favor of Sami Zayn, producing evidence that led to Roman Reigns letting him stay in the faction. Sami Zayn made the ultimate choice to land a chair shot in Roman Reigns' back to save Kevin Owens. By the way, Jey Uso reacted to his comment. Jey Uso reacted after the bloodline split off at the WWE Royal Rumble. You can see the reaction of Jey Uso. Dominic Mysterio come out to the ring while wearing Rey Mysterio's mask. Many fans believed he and his father were going to face each other during the match. But Rey Mysterio was not present for the show. While speaking of Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer revealed that Rey Mysterio suffered an injury prior to the Royal Rumble which was serious enough for him to miss the event. It was added that WWE had plans to build and Dominic Mysterio's feud during the Royal Rumble, but that didn't end up happening. Brock Lesnar came out as the 12th entrant of the match and immediately started destroying other competitors. However, he was then, then eliminated by Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley took to his Twitter and commented on an old tweet where he had previously stated that he will go after Brock Lesnar first. Bobby Lashley then proceeded to mock the beast in corner. Bobby Lashley said, told you, kiss my ASS Brock, so you can see the reaction.